All right, what's going on YouTube? We in here for another one. Not currently recording over any gameplay. I have no idea what I'm going to put in here. I might put a little battlefield in here. I think I have some Destiny gameplay on my computer just messing around in a strike or something. I might plug some of that in here. At this point, does it really even matter what I choose to put in this video? But check this tweet that I just seen on Twitter just a few minutes ago. It's from Sam. I'm not sure who it is, but it just randomly showed up on my timeline. And he says, we lost. I'm not going to completely repeat it because we're early on in the video and you guys know the way YouTube works. But he's showing a screenshot of a new little bundle in Modern Warfare Deuce. I can't verify I uninstalled the game, so I'm going to go ahead and take Sam's word for it. But as you can see, they added a tight little bundle to the Modern Warfare Do store called Classic Music for $8. You could get the same music that you paid full price for over a decade ago in the original game. I find it very funny that they can bring back the music from OG MW2, but they can't bring back any of the maps though, right? They can bring back the music and charge you extra for it, but they can't bring back any of the OG maps. Yo, I'm telling you, this company, this game, this franchise, what a joke, it's pathetic. And what makes this even more hilarious, it got me crying, laughing, I think I peed a little bit too, is you're gonna see all these little beta male, wet, creamy, crusty little nerds buying this bundle. Hell yeah, I just said creamy and crusty in the same, don't ask me how it works, man, ask them. I don't know how, but it fits. These nerds, these wet, creamy, crusty nerds are gonna buy this shit. It's just sad, man. The nerve of Activision to drop a bundle like this, they do it because they know they can get away with it, man. True story, I just had a person on one of my videos, I'm not gonna say who it is or what video it was, because I'm not trying to send this person any hate, but I just had a person on one of my videos tell me that they're going to buy the Black Cell Battle Pass in protest as a way of clapping back at the hackers who was ruining Black Ops Cold War and these other games. That's their way of getting back at these hackers. They're gonna go buy the Black Cell Battle Pass. Like, it's like, what are you telling me this information for, dude? What am I supposed to do with this information? Wipe my ass with it? Like, what the, what the fuck do you want me to do with this? You're gonna go buy the Black Cell Battle Pass? You're gonna go give Activision more money? You're gonna buy the Super Premiums Premium Battle Pass to clap back at the hackers? All you're fucking doing is helping out Activision, bro. You, you ain't taking no stance for shit. <laughs> you're gonna go buy a super premiums premium battle pass to go like to clap back at the hat that is one of the dumbest things i think i've ever heard and i'm not even hating on this person i've seen this person around the channel a lot they seem to have some common sense i guess they just threw that out the window for that particular comment but it's it's real somebody legitimately said this to me this is like this is why i say a boycott is never gonna work man because the casual player base is so big that don't know what's going on right now with the whole protected little children movement that we have going on. But you got people like this too, man, that are on the socials, that are watching streams, watching YouTube videos. They're engaged with the community out here. Dude, they just don't care. They're, just, they're gonna spend their money and they're gonna keep playing the game and they don't care. They don't have morals, they don't have values. That's it, they have no leg to stand on, period. They just care about COD. And if you hate on COD, they hate you. And let me tell you something with this whole Nick Merck situation. If your only response is, well, where were y'all when this was going down? Or where were y'all when that was going down? You're a fucking coward. I actually just seen a video from this Joe, Joe something, Joe Woe or Joe Wall or something. I, I don't know, man. I don't follow the dude. I've heard his name like a couple of times, just somebody mentioning it. Like, I, I just... I have no affiliation with this dude whatsoever, right? This is my first time actually seeing what the dude looks like. And in the video, that's his stance on the whole matter. Where were y'all when this was going down? And where were y'all when that was going down? There's no drama over here, he says. I mean, dude, you're just, you're a straight coward. I'm telling you, bro, anybody could blow up out here. <laughs> like, you can't, you got all these dudes out here. They just, they just be blowing up, man. If you're a woman, just let those titties fly 
if you're a nerd, just come out here and gobble on that knob some more. And oh, I love COD so much. And COD is the best video game I've ever played in my life. But do not pay attention to my Chronos and my engine owning software. Needle dick, needle dick, needle dick. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man, it's like anybody, anybody can strike it big out here on the YouTubes, man. All you got to do is gobble on that knob hard enough and anybody can make it out here, bro. I'm telling you, just a bunch of wet, creamy, crusty nerds. There's a lot of them out here, man. You'll see them everywhere. Everywhere you look, you'll see them. These VIPs, these knob gobblers. Listen, if you're somebody who chooses not to have politics on your channel, so you're choosing just not to take sides in your video because you don't want that bullshit on your channel. I understand. Pay them bills. Feed your family. Do what you got to do. But when you come out here and you're trying to make a case like this situation doesn't need to be taken seriously. You're just a straight fucking coward, man. And you're a wet, creamy, crusty little nerd just trying to protect that VIP status. But speaking of vips i want to show you guys this tweet real quick from one of the co-founders of charlie intel he goes on to say spoke on this about the podcast but for clarity and transparency i was not invited to recent events because of being critical of the game and the studio no hard feelings we move forward and continue the work to deliver the best cod news on charlie intel yo I, I got to give it up to them. They've at least been critical of the game and of the studio as of late because there's no fooling anybody out here. They're making these games straight for the casuals and for new money. Unfortunately, it comes at the expense of the hardcore players. Listen, I know how a lot of y'all feel about Charlie Intel. I hear about it all the time. Anytime I ever use something from them in a video, I got to hear about it in the comments section about how much you guys hate them over there. How, how shill they are and all of this. And I agree, they are shills, but they are a shill. They're a VIP that has some credibility. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong, I agree with you. They completely be shilling out here, but they don't straight up lie to people constantly like a lot of these people do out here. But getting back to putting in the work over there on Charlie Intel, I wanna show you guys a tweet from just a couple of days ago at the peak of all of this Nick Merck's drama, Charlie Intel drops a post. Modern Warfare Deuce made $1 billion in 10 days. Diablo made 666 million in five days. 666, I find that that's kind of fitting. And then they go on to finish it with Activision Blizzard seems to be doing all right charlie what like what are you getting at here bro you know i i'm willing to defend charlie somewhat uh for actually being critical of the game and they're actually honest with modern warfare deuce and personally i think it's a lot to do with they just they can't lie about this i mean people see the product they played the product like it's right there i mean people like it, it's sitting there right in front of their face man you're not gonna lie to them about this game so i think they have no choice but to be honest about it but what like what what are you trying to say with this post here, Charlie? I mean, like, are you not? I mean, does this post not come off as taking a jab at the people who are in quote unquote boycott mode for Activision and Call of Duty? Everybody out here fighting the good fight online on the socials, telling them that they're, they've uninstalled the game and they're done with COD and all this. Is this not just to take a straight jab at those people? Everybody who's angry with Activision right now, just because we want them to leave the children alone. I'm not, I'm not even understanding this post, man. And like, why is he using figures from Modern Warfare Deuce when it first dropped? Modern Warfare Deuce did not make no $1 billion in the last 10 days. Like, what are you talking about, bro? You're talking about when Modern Warfare Deuce first dropped it made 1 billion in 10 days so why is he trying to use that figure from a little less than a year ago with diablo's numbers now to make a point that activision seems to be doing all right i just <laughs> i don't understand the post man i just what is your motive what is your goal with this post charlie but i just i thought it was really funny that somebody as respected by activision as Charlie Intel is, the co-founders of Charlie Intel, because they're a little bit critical of a game because they dropped 
a trash ass game that a lot of people just don't enjoy playing and it's right there we see it every time we jumped on the game we see it we feel how garbage that game is and the type of players that they've catered to but if you're just critical of the game you could be the biggest vip ever the biggest shill ever and you just criticize their game being honest with them they don't want to hear it man you ain't getting invited out because let's be honest they would like charlie intel the people over there at charlie intel all these vips that would have been invited to try out this season four maps and guns and all this shit the battle pass and all that for them to be invited out that would have been like what a couple weeks ago minimum probably a month ago and it's just really sad to me that you can't even criticize the game this is where activision is at they just they don't want to hear no criticism no nothing and this is why the game is as shit as it is but then you got charlie intel out here trying to make a point that activision blizzard seems to be doing all right a few weeks after they would have been invited to this event using numbers from modern warfare deuce launch that was those are sales numbers built up from hype people thinking that they were taking it back to og mw2 that there was going to be a bunch of og modern warfare 2 maps and guns and all that in this game you had the crowd that thought it was going to be a straight sequel to modern warfare 2019 i just <laughs> this company man and this this entire situation is weird let me know what you guys think in the comment section i hope you enjoyed the video i'm out